With the Edgewonk backtester, you can easily backtest new strategy ideas and then record the outcomes and evaluate it in your Edgewonk trading journal. You find the backtester in the left menu when you scroll down under strategy lab and then under backtester. There's an alternative way to record a backtest and if you want to utilize the full power of the Edgewonk trading journal, you can just also create a new Edgewonk trading journal. So you go to the top right, then you add a new trading journal, a brand new one without any trades in it. And there you can add your backtested trades just like you would add them to a new trading journal in Edgewonk. This way you can then utilize all of the different analytical tools, the charts and everything else in your journal to analyze the backtested trade data. The backtester, however, is a shortcut and the goal is to quickly find out if a strategy idea is profitable or not with a quick backtest. So what you're doing is you create a new backtest. You see that a new field has opened now here. In the information box, we would recommend to write down the strategy specifics and the rules that you're about to test with your backtest. For example, you could write down the instrument that you're backtesting. You can write down the time frame that you're backtesting. And then you have space for the rules of the strategy. You can write down the rules for your entry, for your exit, your stop loss placement, target placement, trade management, and other important parameters about the strategy that you wanna backtest. The more specific you are here, the, the easier it is later to remember what you have been testing here. And then when you scroll down, you have a table here. By default, you will see 10 rows and two columns. The two columns stand for the two outcomes that you wanna test. This is another great time saver. A lot of traders have a strategy idea, but they are not 100% sure about the specifics. So what you could be doing is an, have an entry strategy one and then an entry strategy two. Define the differences here and write down the specifics about the different rules. And then you can track them in outcome one and outcome two. You can just add the outcome by clicking into the field. You double click in it. You then write down the hypothetical outcome of your backtested trade. You hit save and then it enters. You could be doing this for every trade you keep doing this row after row, and then you will see that the line graph on the right updates. After you have finished your back test, you will then see a performance breakdown. First of all, you see the total amount of trades. You have taken 10 trades in the back test. You can also add more rows by just clicking on the blue plus icon, and then you will see you get more rows here. And then you can keep back testing. And then you can also compare other statistics between the two outcomes. You can see the first outcome has six winners, the, the second one has seven winners, we have four versus three losers, no break-even trades. Then you have the breakdown for the win rate and you can compare the two outcomes. The first strategy has netted eight versus the second 13.26. Whereas some traders like to record the outcome in terms of account currency, so if your trading account is typically nominated in euros or US dollar, you could write down the outcome in currency values or alternatively, you can also write down outcomes in R multiple whatever feels more natural and is easier for you. And then you can proceed from here. If you're seeing that your backtest is profitable, that's a great first sign. Now you can choose to either keep trading this on a demo account or trade this in a live account. If you would have realized a negative performance with your backtest, you could try to change some parameters of the strategy, then create a new backtest and then keep backtesting. Over time, you will have a very nice archive of backtested strategies that you have taken and analyzed here. It's a great time saver and because a lot of traders are curious about how different strategies would have performed, the backtest on Edgewonk helps you go down that route and helps you to track and compare the results.